Article 27, shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $99,740 for the following purposes of the Recreation and Parks Department. A, the purchase of four sets of new bleachers and picnic tables for the Tuck Field baseball field and the Eaton Park softball field. B, the purchase of a gate or utility vehicle and trailer for the Parks Division. C, replacement of the carpeting at the Tuck Building. D, the re-roofing of Eaton Park concession stand. E, the purchase of new office furniture to replace the hand-me-down 1970s furniture that came with the town offices at the time of its purchase. F, the resurfacing of two inbounds playing areas on the right-hand tennis courts. That includes one coat of plexi cushion blue and one coat of U.S. Open blue plus striping. And G, restoration of Tuck One Field and Don Butler Diamond, as the field is very uneven and requires removal of the grass cover and regrading of the field. And H, purchase of new recreation software program, including the purchase of new tablets and service for the town parking lots and the recreation and parks department. As determined by the Board of Selectmen, the town manager and the director of recreation and parks, and to authorize the withdrawal of $99,740 from the recreation infrastructure special revenue fund established for the purpose under Article 44 of the 2007 annual town meeting. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen, 5-0. Recommended by the Budget Committee, 12-0. There is no tax impact. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 27? Moved by Mr. Waddell, seconded by Ms. Barnes. Uh, yes, we have our Recreations Department Director, Diana Martin, to speak to Article 27. Good afternoon. This article is self-explanatory. We're hoping to make upgrades and repairs to our park system and our office to improve our parks and to become more efficient. We're looking to purchase new bleachers and picnic tables at Tuck Field because those that are currently there are bent and have weather um, degraded coatings. We wish to purchase a utility gator and trailer for the park's employees. Currently, they're hauling heavy equipment and trash by hand, and this would allow them to be more efficient, and it also creates less risk of injury to them. We wish to replace the carpeting in the Tuck building as it has a number of runs and poles in it and is very worn and it gets year-round use. The roof at the Eaton Park concession stand desperately needs to be replaced as shingles are blowing off it daily as it's about 19 years old. We wish to purchase new furniture for the recreation office. The furniture we have now is all hand-me-down, which is fine, except that most of, of the pieces are broken or unusable at this time. We wish to add or repaint the cushion surface to the two tennis courts that did not get it originally, so that will make them all equal. And we need to do a restoration project on the outfield of Don Butler Diamond at Tuck Field. It has become very uneven for play, and we wish to make it safer for use for everybody that uses that park. And finally, we'd like to upgrade our recreation software to a product that is easier to use and will allow us to provide online registration. With this, we would also like to purchase the tablets for use in our parking lots to allow credit card sales at that place as well. So having said this, I'm hoping for your support on this article as there is no tax impact and each item is very much needed for the safety and efficiency from our department to our customers. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Martin. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 27? Seeing none, Article 27 will appear on the ballot as printed. 